If you're looking to lose weight, you're not alone. Millions of people around the world are constantly searching for the most effective ways to shed those extra pounds. However, not all diets are created equal. In fact, some can be downright dangerous and counterproductive. In this video, we'll explore the worst diets for weight loss, culminating in the absolute worst of the worst. So make sure to watch till the end to find out which one is the worst. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Starting off our list at number 5 is the tapeworm diet. Yes, you heard that correctly. Some people are willing to ingest tapeworms in the hopes of losing weight. This dangerous and disgusting method involves swallowing a tapeworm, which then lives in your intestines and consumes some of the nutrients you consume. In theory, this means you'll lose weight, but the risks far outweigh the benefits. Not only can tapeworms cause a myriad of health problems, but the weight loss results are temporary at best. A study published in the Journal of Parasitology found that the majority of people who tried the tapeworm diet experienced significant weight regain once the tapeworm was removed. This diet is not only ineffective, but also downright dangerous. Number four on our list is the baby food diet. This fad diet involves replacing your regular meals with jars of baby food. While baby food is generally nutritious and low in calories, it's not intended for adults. Adults have different nutritional needs, and a diet consisting solely of baby food can lead to nutrient deficiencies. Moreover, the lack of variety and texture can be unappealing, causing many people to abandon the diet and regain any lost weight. A study published in the International Journal of Obesity found that while people on the baby food diet initially lost weight, they regained most of it within a year. The researchers concluded that this diet is not a sustainable long-term weight loss solution. Moving on to number three, we have the grapefruit diet. This low-calorie, low-carbohydrate diet involves eating half a grapefruit with every meal. The idea behind this is that grapefruit contains an enzyme that supposedly helps burn fat. However, research has yet to support this claim. A study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association found no significant difference in weight loss between those who ate grapefruit and those who didn't. Additionally, the grapefruit diet is very restrictive, making it difficult to stick to and potentially leading to nutrient deficiencies. At number two on our list, we have the cabbage soup diet. This short-term diet involves eating large quantities of cabbage soup for a week. While this low-calorie diet may cause rapid weight loss initially, it's not a sustainable long-term solution. The monotony of eating cabbage soup every day can lead to boredom and eventual failure. A study published in the journal Appetite found that people who followed the cabbage soup diet reported increased feelings of deprivation, which can contribute to weight regain. Additionally, this diet is severely lacking in essential nutrients, and the rapid weight loss it causes can lead to muscle loss and other health issues. Finally, we have arrived at the number one spot for the worst diet for weight loss, the cotton ball diet. This dangerous and bizarre diet involves eating cotton balls soaked in juice or other liquids in an attempt to feel full without consuming many calories. Not only does this diet lack any nutritional value, but it also poses serious health risks. Consuming cotton balls can cause intestinal blockages, which can be life-threatening. A study published in the Journal of Medical Toxicology reported several cases of serious complications, including bowel obstruction and malnutrition, among people who followed the cotton ball diet. Now that we've explored the top five worst diets for weight loss, let's dive deeper into the absolute worst one, the cotton ball diet, and discuss why it's so dangerous and counterproductive. First and foremost, cotton balls are not food. They are made of synthetic fibers, often containing polyester or even small amounts of plastic. These materials are not meant for human consumption and can lead to serious gastrointestinal issues. When ingested, the cotton balls can become trapped in the digestive system, forming a mass known as a bezoar. This can cause an intestinal blockage, which can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Moreover, the cotton ball diet is extremely low in calories and devoid of essential nutrients, leading to malnutrition and various health problems. When the body doesn't receive adequate nutrients, it can negatively affect your immune system, metabolism, and overall well-being. In the long run, this can lead to fatigue, muscle loss, and even organ damage. 
Another major issue with the cotton ball diet is that it promotes disordered eating patterns. This diet can lead to an unhealthy relationship with food, as it encourages individuals to focus on extreme calorie restriction rather than adopting a balanced and sustainable approach to weight loss. Such extreme diets can contribute to the development of eating disorders, which can have long-lasting consequences on mental and physical health. Additionally, the cotton ball diet is not a sustainable weight loss solution. The initial weight loss experienced on this diet is primarily due to water loss, not fat loss. As soon as a person returns to a normal diet, the weight is likely to be regained quickly. This yo-yo effect can be demoralizing and may even lead to weight gain in the long run, as the body's metabolism adjusts to the constant fluctuations in calorie intake. Cut back on refined carbs. One way to help lose weight quickly is to cut back on sugars and starches or carbohydrates. This could be with a low-carb eating plan or by reducing refined carbs and replacing them with whole grains. When you do that, your hunger levels go down and you generally end up eating fewer calories. With a low-carb eating plan, you'll utilize burning stored fat for energy instead of carbs. If you choose to eat more complex carbs like whole grains along with a calorie deficit, you'll benefit from higher fiber and digest them more slowly. This makes them more filling to keep you satisfied. Eat protein, fat, and vegetables. Aim to include a variety of foods at each meal. To balance your plate and help you lose weight, your meals should include a protein source, fat source, vegetables, a small portion of complex carbohydrates, such as whole grains. To see how you can assemble your meals, check out this low carb meal plan, this lower calorie meal plan. Move your body. Exercise, while not required to lose weight, can help you lose weight more quickly. Lifting weights has particularly good benefits. By lifting weights, you'll burn calories and help prevent your metabolism from slowing down, which is a common side effect of losing weight. Try strength training three to four times a week. If you're new to lifting weights, a trainer may be able to help you get started. Make sure your doctor is also aware of any new exercise plans. If lifting weights is not an option for you, doing some cardio workouts such as walking, jogging, running, cycling, or swimming is very beneficial for weight loss and general health. In conclusion, it's essential to avoid fad diets like the cotton ball diet when seeking weight loss solutions. These diets not only fail to provide long-term results, but they can also pose significant health risks. Instead, focus on adopting a balanced and sustainable approach to weight loss that incorporates a variety of nutrient-dense foods, regular physical activity, and a healthy mindset. This is not only safer, but also more effective in achieving lasting results. Remember, weight loss is a journey that requires patience, persistence, and a sensible approach. By steering clear of the worst diets for weight loss and embracing healthier habits, you'll be well on your way to achieving your goals.